All right, thank you for staying with us. Some highlights for you from the German Bundesliga. And, uh, of course, uh, Bayern Munich, very dominant. And uh, they've also uh, shown that uh, quality. And uh, Yemadi Bayer will be able to tell you a lot more about it. <laughs> All right, but uh, Datum has joined us uh, for the rest of the show. Guys, b before we um, talk about the foreign issues, let let's just quickly um, talk about um, Chisum Ebuchulamo was um, one of the outstanding players last season yes. in the Nigeria, Nigeria Professional Nigeria. Football League. Dotun, the guy has gone to Sweden. Um, is going to join BK Aken um, on loan with the possibility of getting a, a, a substantial three-year contract if he, if he impresses. But he's a good player, and we know what quality this guy will, will, will what he can what he can do. Of course, uh, Chogbilan actually appears to be the best player in Nigerian professional football league last season. He did wonderfully well with his club, talking about Rangers International. And during the start of the season, he actually said that he does not want to resume with uh, Rangers in International. He wants to move on, and which he has been really talking about on his social media handles. And uh, we saw that actually see the light of the day today. And moving on to a club in Swedish uh, league, actually was, was indeed a very good one for him. And if you look at the club, they are actually a majesty in the uh, Swedish league last season, they won the FA Cup and they played the qualifying series of Europa Cup. Though they were unable to qualify to the group stage to be part of the tournament proper. But if you still look at it, you can always see that it was indeed a good one for him moving to a club like that in Sweden. Mm. But if you still la if you if you now look at uh, things that are really surrounded moving down to Sweden, you definitely to a particular extent actually say no to this particular move move owing to the fact that players in Nigerian Professional Football League, after having an exceptional season, what they tend to do after one exceptional season, they tend to move on to clubs in Europe. Even sometimes, some among them move down to obscure leagues in the world, leagues that even are not paying more than Nigerian Professional Football League. But we just need to like see continuity in the Nigerian Professional Football League to see that our best players remain our best player, in the yeah. Nigerian Professional Football mm -hmm. League. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, we can only wish this guy the best of luck. I was, I mean, I was looking forward to seeing him with the Chan team because I, I've been dreaming about this yes. guy playing playing mm -hmm. the Chan tournament some for Nigeria. Some of his Rangers teammates. Some of his Rangers teammates, but but what can we do? We we can we can't stop his progress. Of course. Of and course. we hope that he takes advantage of what is um, on the table for him in Sweden, uh, and then launch to bigger leagues in Europe. It's not exactly the young young player. He's 25. 25. He's 25. But I'm sure he still has some six, seven years of football uh, le left in him. We Although wish him. We, we we have to be used to the fact that mm. like if one of that. After a season or two, because are, of the play conditions, we here. cannot keep our best players. You know, but they always want to if move. We can, if we're able to sanitize. Uh, but, 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 mm, what mm, I'm mm. saying is, Ali, that we just need to start working it out yeah. on making them stay in the night. Yeah, we have to do. Body. We have to. We have to do a lot more. It all. It will talk. We will talk about the, the earning power and mm. the ability to keep them. But it's it's tough. But it is something that we need to really uh, work on. There will be games tomorrow. Before we forget, let's tell you um, in the Nigerian Professional Football League, March Day 11. Um, we've, we've played one third of the season already. Yes. Um, no, 38 games. We've not played one third. Uh, yeah, yeah. 38 we've games. We've we, 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 yeah, we, we've we've not played games. one. Yeah, we still have a long way to go. Uh, just 10 games. But March Day 11, tomorrow, there will be games on Wednesday and, and Thursday. But check out the fixtures. Wiki Torres against Rivers United. Um, Rangers will be hosting ABS. Rangers are flirting. Um, with um, relegation at the moment. Of course. Uh, ABS are right there at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, I think second or third on the log. Third on the um, Katsina and Atlet against MFM. MFM fourth on the log. Katsina are also really, really doing well. Remo stars uh, against Pillars. Remo um, got a draw on the road. They will want to pick up all three points at home against Pillars. It's not going to be like easy. Uh, but but yeah. don't forget that uh, they've drawn and they've lost at home this season. Yeah, they have. And then Yiba shooting. Massive game. The former coach of shooting is the man in charge of Eyimba. Uh, Benga Gumbote. Yes. All right. So that's an interesting game I uh, want to look out for. Plateau United against Lobby. These teams always produce um, goals, goals, and goals. Uh, Gombe will be hosting FC Fanyoba. Uh, Abia Warriors, troubled at the moment, mm. will be taking on Tornadoes of Mina, who are also uh, pulling their weight. Uh, El Kanemi, the surprise team of the season, mm. will be at home to Sunshine in Meduguri. And then Nasarawa United, who are uh, not um, exactly very That's comfortable good, yes. at the moment, will be hosting uh, a revived um, Sorgen, resurging uh, Aqua <laughs> United. All right, so those are the fixtures for Wednesday and Thursday, March Day 11. 
uh, in the Nigeria Professional Football League. Of course, by this time tomorrow, we'll be talking about the results from some of these games, and we hope there won't be drama, negative drama. We hope there will be positives, goals, like the one that Sikiru um, scored on Friday. Plenty of goals, good officiating. That's what we expect to see uh, tomorrow and Thursday.